The plasma orbs are an air-breathing magneto-hydrodynamic engine. It's a scramjet engine design. The scramjet engine design, basically what they are is they're an engine, Swiss Army knife engine, uh, like this iPod. And they can produce a plasma around them. They produce a plasma around them by shooting an X-ray laser, a free electron laser. Free electron laser can basically just destroy the molecules in the atmosphere and use it and suck it in. And they fly around. And here's the craziest shit. Are you ready? Pay close attention to what I'm about to say. When they're flying around, they produce energy while they're flying around. Like the fact that they're moving around produces energy. So there's and, and if they go really fast, they produce a shock wave. The shock wave itself is used to produce energy, used to produce fusion. The shock wave can produce fusion. So they're an engine and the engine produces this compression and the compression just produces fusion. And then they have essentially infinite energy. So each one of those balls of plasma can produce gigawatts of electrical energy, gigawatts. You're looking at a completely new paradigm of energy production in those plasma balls. So the craziest part is this is the thing that I'm really struggling with. Those plasma balls, I can trace back the origin of the plasma balls to about 1989. Ironically, the same time as Cold Fusion. 1989. And that being said, they are free energy. They literally are free energy. They, they are exact type of free energy that I've been talking about. They're Cold Fusion. They're everything that you would imagine. They're just not doing it at all in a conventional way that I would have ever expected in a million years. Even up until a few weeks ago, I wouldn't have expected this. It's a weird system that takes the shock wave, like takes the air in inbound air and sucks energy from it and produces a compression within the plasma itself to produce fusion and electrical energy. And just like the letter to me said, a slightly different change to the structure of the design produces a free energy plasma ball, as opposed to the ones that we're looking at, which are for propulsion mechanisms. And they can take that excess onboard energy and then they can teleport things with it. They can make gravity, you know, super powerful free electron lasers with it.